So in this question, we have a rock released from a cliff, a rock X. <clears throat> and then a little bit later, rock Y is released. We are told that they fall for several seconds before they hit the ground. The frictional forces are considered to be negligible. Which one show, which graph shows the uh, velocity of X, and you know, it's using the word velocity, of rock X as a function of time. <clears throat> so we apply our Oizerga to these graphs. So the origin of each one. So there's zero, there's zero, but here is zero, and here is zero. So these numbers are negative. These numbers are positive. So right off the bat, by looking at the origins, we can see that one of the distinctions that's going to be made in some of the choices is whether the velocity values are positive or negative. So we've got that covered. The y-axis is velocity, x-axis is time. The intercepts vary. What we can read from the graphs are velocity and time, and the gradient is delta v over delta t, which is the acceleration. These objects undergoing free fall, the acceleration should be minus 10. And the area is delta v time, or is v time, is uh, v times delta t, which is going to be delta z. So that's the displacement. So which one shows the velocity as a function of time? Well, at time zero, the velocity should be zero. So we can, even if we were doing an average velocity table, time, the average, the velocity is zero. After one second, minus 10, two seconds, minus 20, three seconds, minus 30. So this is what we should be looking at here. But at time zero, the velocity is zero. So that takes this one out takes this one out and the choice D says that the velocity is about oh minus 10 and it stays at minus 10 that the acceleration equals zero whereas this one over here choice C shows a constant slope a constant acceleration that is negative acceleration equals minus 10 and that's why choice B is our answer